Hey guys, it's Lil and Doris here. Today I will be showing you a little tip on how to make your custom smooth. So this is going to be a new series, so it's like a little switch up custom tip series and I hope you guys like it because you know some people aren't that great and some people would like to see some of my tips and tricks for you guys. So yeah. And if you guys are stuck on anything, you can let me know uh, in the comments and I might be able to make a video about that tip. And yeah! So in this episode, I will be um, doing a dry brush technique for you guys and also how to make, like, how to make the paint smooth and everything. So let's get started with the dry brushing technique. Okay, so for the dry, uh, dry brush technique, I will use this little container, this plastic container for the paint. So, yeah. So I'm gonna shake the paint, and I'm going to pour, uh, I think, three drops of paint. And then I'm gonna take my little water squirt thingy and I'm gonna put a little bit in there. I think that's good. And then I'm just gonna mix with one of my terrible, really disgusting brushes. But it's okay. I'm going to use it to mix it. So I think this is kind of too liquidy, so I'm going to add a little bit more of some paint. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this really, um, really gross brush. It's like, really gross and everything. So I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to dip it into the paint. I'm just going to dip on the little side because I just need a little bit. Then I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm just going to like rub most of oh okay most of the paint off on this paper towel and then you're just going to gently well I guess kind of rub into the LPS and okay I don't really see any difference right now but So you're just going to repeat that step until it's kind of like how you want it to be. It's like dry and white and everything. I like mine to be kind of like white, like really white, but then sometimes I like it kind of like not very white. Let's just have a few layers of white layers. Uh -huh. gonna repeat this process until you feel like it's pretty good and I will be back with the final 
dry brush look on this parrot. So I'll be back. See you guys. Okay guys, I'm back and my ferret here, I put several layers on it already and I feel like I need to put some more layers on it. Um, so you can stop whenever you like. I just, I just want to put a little bit more white layers on it. So yeah, I will be back when I finish dry brushing and I will get on to my next tip. So yeah. Okay guys, so I just finished base layering, dry brushing this ferret, and I think it looks pretty well done. Now I'm going to move on to the tip that is how to make your paint smooth. Okay, so when I mean how to make it smooth, I'm just going to do the base layer of the pet. So I have a really good color scheme I like. And I had the design out, and you guys can look at the design if you guys like. Um, it's so cute. I'm going to go for this design. So, yeah. Okay, so I found a right color for this color scheme, and I think it matches this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint. I'm just going to put some paint in here. And I'm just gonna put a like a tad bit of paint until it's kind of like a liquidy kind of um what is it? <laughs> it's kind of in the middle of liquidy and kind of like kind of thick. So I'm just going to dip it in and I'm going to scrape it off on a piece of towel. Just a little bit of it, and I am just going to paint onto it. It's kind of liquidy though. So you want the consistency to be kind of like thick, but then kind of like wet. So yeah. So that's pretty much what you're going to do. We're back. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm too loud. Okay, um, I just finished putting a lot of layers on my little ferret, and I like it so far. It looks so smooth. Oh my gosh! So I hope you guys liked my little tutorial, my little series thing. And if you guys have any more suggestions for my series, please, okay, please let me know down below please and sorry for the lighting change but I hope you guys like the natural lighting instead of this horrible lighting um yeah so I'll see you guys later bye Bloop. actually um before you guys go I'm gonna go and stuff um I want to show you two of my newest customs that I'm working on right now one is for a commission trade and the other one is just for me and it's going well so let me show you these two Okay, so my first one is this Persian cat. Um, she has this really cool hair. I love it. I love it so much. And she has like this curly um, curls in her sides of her face. <laughs> yeah. And can you guys guess what it is? Maybe not, but it's going to be so cute. I'm going to love this one so much. Okay, my other one is this one. And it looks pretty good. I just need to put on the hood and the tail. So then I'll get on to dry brushing and painting my little same on. That sounded like a weird accent. I'm so sorry. Um, bye guys. Tylac out. Bye. Bye. I love y'all. Bye.